Now let's check for DP1, two and three elements. First of all, we cal need to calculate temp1, which would be the current max into nums of one. So current max is two, multiplied by nums of one, that is uh, three. So it is six, right? And now for the current max, we have to check max of temp one, which is six. So current max is equal to max of six or nums i itself, which is three. So it gives me three. So, sorry, which gives me six, sorry. Max of six and three is six. So current max would be six here. And now we need to find the result again. The result is max of result, which was four before and six. So now we have to find the new result as six here. So DP of one is six. Guys, I mean, uh, we'll see that uh, once we calculate for other uh, DP two and DP three and have some various edge cases and the negative uh, numbers, then we will see that why we are maintaining two variables. I mean, and in fact, three variables here, the result, the current max and temp. These three variables we are contain containing uh, while, we are, while we are calculating the DP for each of the index. Now let's go for DP of two. Now here the things goes interesting now because we have got a negative number for the first time, which will impact the current max and the variables. Let's see. So temp one would be current max, which is six multiplied by Num number itself, which is minus two. So it's minus 12. So the number has gone down, it's negative number. And uh, current max would be again, max of temp one, which is minus 12. And nums of i, which is minus two. Sorry, which is minus two. And the current mass, we can see that now it is a negative number, minus two. Because between minus 12, 12 and minus two, it's minus two. And now let's calculate the formula here again, that the result would be the max of result, current max, which is, I think six is greater than minus two. So it would be still six. Right now, so it's all good so far. And uh, the final value when we calculate for DP3, so here in DP2, we see that in, in a sense, we are not considering the value which for minus two, because we are still relying on whatever was the maximum still uh, two and three, which means that our only this contiguous array has been taken care of. And we are we have dropped. So only this this part has been considered as a contiguous array and we have dropped this minus two because our current max has been has has been going down okay so let's see for dp uh, dp3 now because we are only using this and we have dropped this so it means that it will start again the array if we are considering we cannot choose the whole two and three because our uh, array is not contiguous anymore we have dropped minus two and we have to start from four again okay so let's just use this formula again, irrespective of that, uh, whether the array is contiguous or not, because we are using the sliding window approach for calculating the results. So let's see. Okay, so temp of one here is would be current max, current max is minus two multiplied by the number itself, which is four. And it gives me minus eight go down and current max would be maximum of temp one which is minus eight and nums of i which is four so the current max would be four and again using this formula for result max of result which is six and four so it's still six so here it would be six and current max is four, right? So of course, I mean, we are getting the correct uh, answer here, but just think about it, right? Suppose 
will it work for all the cases we have just considered that minus 2 was there there was one single minus uh, negative number and it was uh, we just uh, th uh, threw that number and we just started with the remaining numbers but what about if, if i say this if i just uh, modified this input and here instead of 4 we had a minus 4 in that case do you think that this solution will work no it will not work let me show it again so if i have got this index right and suppose if i am here at this point so i do uh, 6 okay let's let's um, okay till here it would be fine and suppose if i change it here it is minus 4 so let's first of all calculate it what would be the maximum subarray right Pro maximum products of this array so it would be 3 to 3 to 6 6 multiplied by uh, so it would be let me write it down so it would be 6 by first two numbers multiplied by minus 2 and, and minus 4, 4 to the 8, so it would be 8. So the correct answer would be 48. But if you use this approach, I will show that the answer will not be correct, not be coming as 48 if we have got minus 4 instead of 4. So it, to the, then temp 1 would be minus 2 multiplied by minus 4, right? And it would be 8. And then current max it should be minus 2 yeah current mass would be temp 1 which is 8 uh, yeah let me put it here 8 or the nums i is minus 4 right so it would be 8 And if we choose this answer now for current max, we have found it as 8 and result would be max of result. The result so far was here was 6 and out of 6 and 8, so it, it would have been 8 instead of 48, right? The result would be not correct if we are just considering these variables in current max. So I think that, that I mean, so here we saw the flaw, right? I mean, if we have got even number of negative numbers, so even number when we multiply the even number of negative numbers it will be a positive number which is which will be changing our result and if there are there are odd number of uh, negative numbers if there are odd number like it's like only one negative number or three negative number or five negative number in that case i mean of course the number will be going into negative and then our result will be correct with this formula so we have to avoid this and we have to same think of uh, revising this algorithm in the next video, we'll see that how to revise this algorithm and get the correct value when we have got a, got a different type of negative numbers in our uh, input array.